Uh, hi everyone, uh, this is our MN692 capstone project. Uh, our project name is respiration and oxygen detector or analyzer using IoT for COVID-19. Uh, myself, I'm Manohar, team leader for the project, and uh, Arvind Reddy, Vignesh, Abhinay, and Puneet are my team members. So uh, here are the project client details. Our client name is Mudazir Ahmad, company name MA Computer and Electrical Services. Project supervisor is Dr. Sadia Aziz. So the main requirements what our client required is uh, all the applications like what we are doing now it should be enabled by IOTs uh, like healthcare connected IOT. This application need to monitor the respiration system like for long term recording between the clinical systems uh, like measuring the blood pressure, body temperature and heart rate by using three sensors. This mainly helps to measure patient conditions whoever sitting at home and facing these issues so they can be solved by using these three sensors and their data can be uh, grabbed by the doctor and they can then send the prescription to the following patient so that's overall uh, client requirement what we got so here is a project overview we have client requirements project design diagram design approaches testing and implementation followed by results Comparative analysis, limits and conclusions, creativity, innovations and entrepreneurship references. So coming to the project design diagram, this is the overall design what we have now. So we have three sensors, heartbeat sensor, temperature sensor, and uh, oxypulse sensor. So it's three sensors are connected to the Arduino where the, all the coding part which was written to the sensors will be fetched into the Arduino. Then from Arduino, it will be traveling, the data will be traveling through ESP AP. From ESP AP through Wi Fi connection, it travels to the particular app, which is respiration and detection, detector analyzer application. In that application, we can see the followed patients who had registered in the app, and the doctor can see all the patients who had registered in the app, followed by his results. So when patient is feeling abnormal condition, then doctor can send back some prescriptions which he need to follow. That's what the overall project design in this diagram. <clears throat> so in this design approaches, we have followed three types, medical sensors, processing and analysis, alert assurance. So patient mainly will, will be connected with all these three sensors. Uh, this system processes and analyzes all the sensor values to the doctor and he will be monitored in the patient condition by giving some uh, prescription medicines. So alert assurance. The meaning of alert assurance is the patient will get an alert if the heartbeat rate, oxygen rate or temperature rate uh, if feeling like abnormal uh, means like it's over overrated. So then he'll get an alert saying that you need to follow these medications. So coming to the next slide. So this is a testing and implementation what we have done. This is overall of circuit diagram of the hardware part. So MA, MLX90614 is temperature sensor. MAX30100 is oxygen pulse sensor. ESP8266 is Wi-Fi module. So these are connected to the particular pins which are shown in the circuit diagram. And these are all connected to the Arduino Nano one. So Arduino Nano fetches all this information and travels the information to particular application through Wi-Fi module, which is shown in the circuit diagram. So next slide will be explaining by uh, Abhinay. Uh, hi everyone, uh, this is Abhinay. Uh, today I'm going to explain uh, Arduino implementation in coding. While coming to Arduino, uh, it is an open source editor. We can like we can uh, write and load code easily through USB to your controllers. And uh, the Arduino supports several different controls, and it runs on Linux, Windows, and Mac operating systems. And it serves and switches automatically to the higher power supply. And uh, while coming to uh, Wi-Fi model uh, Arduino implementation. Uh, it is an integrated uh, entity with all resources and uh, easy to add input and output pins to your Arduino. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it is a competent mic microcontroller controller, which is also packed in the uh, uh, board. And next slide will explain by Vignesh. 
Hi, this is Vignesh for Amrita. Um, in this slide, uh, we are going to explain how we connected Hala Hardware. Uh, we connected uh, three sensors to breadboard, and um, uh, through breadboard, uh, um, we, uh, we are getting the values through Wi Fi sensor. Uh, we are sending values from Wi Fi sensor to our uh, designed application. Through that application, doctor and the patient can register and um, they can see they can see uh, what, what he got. And uh, next slide, please. Yeah, before going to the next slide, uh, well, we'll just show the live demo of our project. Yeah. Yeah, this is our Arduino IDE coding platform. So here we have written the coding for all like temperature sensor, uh, oxypal sensor, temperature sensor, and uh, oxygen pulse sensor. So this is our coding part. So from here, the coding part starts like serial begin. So there, when uh, the temperature sensor begins, started starting working. Uh, so here, when we run using this serial monitor, we can fetch the data. Uh, let's, uh, it's loading now. So triple line, triple line, uh, it comes as a duplicate value for the first time. So we need to wait for 20 seconds. So here is our live output. So my heart rate is now like it changes drastically from 93, 66 and 115, 94. So this is our live output. So here we can see like heart rate is 115 as of now. Oxygen levels are 94 and uh, like room temperature is 22 because the heater is on as of now. So object temperature, so my temperature is 23 now. So if we, so if I put hand on the temperature, so now it changes from uh, third, now my temperature is 33 object temperature. So here we can see heart rate 100, SPO to 1989, room temperature 23, and my temperature is 34.6, yeah. So coming to this part, uh, in application part, uh, we can see here, so this is our app. So doctor can see all the patient details, uh, like AB, uh, his temperature, his details, Vignesh, his temperature details, Manohar, my details. So when I log out, so now if I log in as Abhi, so only patient can see only his details, but whereas doctor can see all the details of the patient who had registered and who undergone through this scenario by using these sensors. So, and also in the, we also get these results in the web link. So we can see here, uh, I think let us zoom it. So this is a web link where we can see our heart rate, SpO2, uh, ambient means room temperature, object temperature. So this is how our application works. So if a patient condition is feeling like abnormal or any serious changes in his body, then he'll get a message saying that these are the prescriptions need to be followed uh, that will be set by the doctor. Yeah, this is our live project uh, implementation. So we'll continue with the slides. Yeah, Vignesh, you can go ahead. Uh, next, uh, this is uh, these are our values. Um, by using Wi-Fi sensors, Wi-Fi sensor, we're getting uh, values from uh, sensors to uh, our uh, application. And next slide will be explained by Abhinay, not Abhinay, Arvind. Next slide, please. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Arvind. This is compared to analysis. Uh, for our model, we took uh, two other uh, two different models to compare our our, our model. One is uh, Prado Mayo and the other one is R Kumar. Whereas in first model, uh, 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 it uses web interface in order to gain information of pa uh, information of patient parameters such as uh, temperature and heart rates. Mm, and he also used and he also used other models like visualization model and management model to 
and common service module whereas in second module in whereas in r kumar module he uses he used a raspberry pi monitor patient for monitoring the patient data in this module raspberry pi monitors a patient parameter parameters such as same uh, temperature uh, respiration rate etc and this data is monitored from uh, anywhere in the world whereas in our module the platform monitors the body temperature and uh, pulse sensor and transmit uh, and and the temp and the sensor uh, rates is transmitted uh, locally through android app next slide will be explained by punit Hello everyone. My name is Puneet, and now I am going to explain our app. So the UI framework is an IoT platform designed to allow controller like Arduino e SP32 to be managed on the internet on both iOS and Android applications. In this framework, we only use widgets to create the graphic interface without the need of compose any code. This application also provides a wide range of features like timer viewing email gps sensors for proximity also here you can see when we just log in as a patient then it will directly fetch the details from esp32 the temperature spo2 ambient and heart rate of the patient and also next slide and here you can see on the same page you can also the doctor can also log in in the same page doctor can also see the details of the patient and uh, their own detail as well but patient when doctor can log out the patient can only see their own details as you as we say in the live demo so next slide is presented by uh, arvind hello everyone uh, this is innovation and entrepreneurship uh, like we showed the android application for the patient uh, where these android apps are uh, used to collect the patient information and and provide the information to physician parents and their families etc and in your application reveals the patient health condition and android application whereas doc doctor can monitor the uh, precautions of uh, which drug uh, sh should give to the patient and uh, prescriptions and pro and uh, and same information is also provided to the parents uh, parents and patients patient and in android application also provide uh, physicians with alert uh, whenever a medical uh, medical uh, help is needed uh, uh, android application sends the notifications to the patient uh, health of the patient and cloud computer system provide a uh, dependable data proof storage and low cost storage uh, next we'll explain by my friend punit unmute and move manohar yeah coming to the limitations and uh, conclusions uh, this study mainly tells us like the wireless patient surveillance system between the patient and the doctor using their mobile phones they can access uh, uh, their uh, information by the doctor so this system mainly tracks and monitors the heart rate body temperature and of the patient condition by using android mobile or ios mobile the mobile app alerts the patient saying that you need to follow these conditions these precautions given by the doctor the main objective of this is it provides some medical uh, cardiovascular disorders so the chances of patients of surviving will thus be increased so there are three main impediments to the analytical approach for iot implementation in the medical industry so first of all uh, they'll measure using some tools and equipment and then it will be implemented uh, almost in every day for each patient second the data being collected will depend on the status of the patient and that data will be sent to the doctor uh, uh, and also the doctor or uh, nearby the practitioner so that he can assess the patient condition and send back the prescription levels so this is how uh, our project has been designed and uh, communicated between the patient and the doctor if the patient is feeling good won't get any alert saying that you need to follow these precautions 
if the patient is feeling bad feeling in worst condition then the doctor can send alert to the patient saying that you need to follow these rules these medications in order to be recover as soon as possible so this is all the references what we have followed till today uh, to complete this project uh, thank you guys uh, for uh, spending time to demonstrate what the work you have done in the project uh, thank you so much once again uh, see you again bye thank you